What's up everybody, it's your man Jump Rope, Levi James, and I'm talking to you today about different types of jump ropes. When you're doing a jump rope training, it's important not to stick to just one rope. You wanna try a variety of different ropes. They provide different benefits based on the type of training and the focus of your workout on that day. First type of rope we're gonna talk about is PVC. It's made out of plastic, it is highly flexible. Usually it comes in different diameters, so different weights of the rope. It moves really well, great for intermediate and beginner jumpers, great for freestyle and great for fitness as well. If you haven't already chosen one, definitely start with a PVC rope as it will give you the most use for all types of training, whether that be fitness or skill development. The next rope we're gonna talk about are the beaded ropes. These are great for fitness and especially jumping outdoors as the beads are nice and thick and they resist a lot of the abrasion and friction that you get from jumping outdoors on harder surfaces. These are nylon or polyester core, so they provide a little bit more flexibility and movement as opposed to the PVC, which stays the same shape the entire time. The benefits of these, really good for freestyling. If you're doing any releases or any hand tricks or floaters or wraps, really good for that because you can control the speed a little bit more. They don't move necessarily as fast as the PVC ropes, but they still do provide a lot of good fitness benefits and the fact that they're usually just a little bit heavier. So it's gonna strengthen up your forearms and shoulders as you're spinning forwards and backwards. So very good to have a beaded rope in your arsenal as well. Uh, when you're looking at beads, you're also looking at the length of the bead. These ones here are one inch long beads. You can get them up to two inches. Uh, depending on the type of weight you like and the movement you like in the rope, one or two inches, doesn't matter too much about the weight, it's more about your personal style and how you like the rope to feel as you're spinning and going through your workouts. Next one we talk about are heavy ropes. These have gained a lot of popularity in training over the last few years. They're definitely a part of the arsenal. The challenge with these is you have to have a pretty good level of strength to start using these ropes. As the rope spins, you're obviously incurring more resistance through the forearms and the shoulders. So this is really great if you're looking to build up strength and power. Maybe you're doing some boxing or some heavy weightlifting, or maybe some CrossFit or a lot of kettlebell exercise. These are great for building up strength through the shoulders and also through the core as you're gonna be moving quite a bit more weight. They're usually weighted out in poundage, some one, two, and even three pound ropes out there. So if you're out there looking for a heavy rope, there's lots of different ropes out there. Find one that suits your needs, but know that this is not where you definitely start your training as you do need to have a pretty good basis of strength to begin using rope just because of the weight. Another rope that I love to use is my, uh, my main man, Buddy Lee. He's got a fantastic Versa trainer rope. It's got nice long handles soft beads in here. It's fantastic for all styles of jumping, freestyling, wrapping, releasing, fitness, power, speed, really versatile that way. Cuts through the air nicely, comes in some really cool colorways. Really, really good rope, very high quality. You can click the link below uh, if you wanna order yourself online, a Buddy Lee Versa Trainer Rope. Gotta have a Buddy Lee in your arsenal, absolutely. The next thing we're gonna talk about is speed cable ropes. These are steel ropes, usually coated in PVC to protect you from the actual steel itself. These are used for speed training almost exclusively. Uh, when you're looking to get your RPS up or revolutions per second, I definitely recommend trying out a speed rope, but you're definitely gonna to need to build up your capacity first with a PVC or a nylon core rope before developing your speed. You gotta build that accuracy and balance, then you start to work on the speed, but important to have in your arsenal for training. The next thing we're gonna talk about is handle length. The longer the handle, the more space and the more leverage that you get. The shorter the handle, the faster the rope is gonna move and the better your coordination and timing has to be. So it's important to have both types in your arsenal as well. When you're starting, maybe wanna try with the longer handle as it helps to emphasize the rotation through the wrist and the elbow, as opposed to when the handle is much shorter, you have to be very aware of exactly how much power to put through the rope. So go for a slightly longer handle as you're starting and then maybe go to a shorter one as you get more fit, as you get more trained on the jump rope techniques. The last thing we're gonna talk about is the length of your rope for your training purposes. There's three different lengths that we try and go through, shoulder, mid chest, and lower chest. And by that, I mean the ends of the handles. You're gonna step on the jump rope, pull the handles up, measure to the top of the shoulders for beginners, and to the middle of the chest for intermediates. More advanced jumpers are gonna use shorter ropes, bringing the handles down to just the bottom of the chest. The shorter the rope is, the faster it's gonna move and the less space you have. So as you're training and building up your skills and accuracy, you don't need as much space around you because you know exactly where the rope is gonna go and therefore you build your speed and power. So general rule is start with the handles, at the top of the shoulder, then move to the middle of the chest and then to the lower portion of the chest. The jump ropes that you buy should all be adjustable. You should be able to find a way to change the length of the rope either through the handle or through the fitting at the base of the handle itself. So make sure you follow this guide to get the properly sized jump rope for your abilities. 
All right, guys, so there you go. That's what you need to know about jump ropes. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. We try and get to every single one of those so we can interact with you as much as possible. If you have not already, download the free guide. It has the information that will support the stuff you've learned in this video about the ty different types of jump ropes that you're gonna incorporate into your training. Uh, if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel. We're putting out content like this on a regular basis to help support you in your training programs. Guys, I'm Levi James. I've been your man, Jumping Rope, and I look forward to seeing you in our Jump Jack training program.